No, it's hot. You may be seated. <laughs> Good evening, faculty, fellow students, and guests. I am Grace Rose, president of the class of 2022. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you to Tohawi High School. On behalf of my classmates, thank you for taking the time to be with us tonight as we celebrate our accomplishments and begin to look forward to our futures. We are very fortunate to have had the support of our parents throughout our school years. At this time, will all the parents of the members of the class of 2022 please stand. Thank you. Many seniors also have grandparents who are in attendance tonight. At this time, if you are a grandparent of one of our classmates, will you please stand? Thank you. During the past four years, we've had a support from a distinctive group of people who have worked with each of us to prepare us, not just for graduation day, but more importantly, for the rest of our lives. As we thank you all for your efforts, will the Chilhowee High School faculty please stand? Thank you. If there are any former Chilhowee High School teachers with us tonight and in any Chilhowee Middle and Chilhowee Elementary School teachers here, will you please stand? Thank you. We have a very special thank you to extend to one of our faculty, faculty members this evening. Mrs. Rebecca Peary, will you please stand? <laughs> Mrs. Peary will be retiring at the end of the school year. She has taught for 40 years with the last 14 of the years here at CHS. On behalf of the class of 2022, we would like to thank you for your commitment and dedication to teaching. 
You have truly impacted the lives of your students. We wish you all the best. Thank you, Mrs. Perry. The class of 2022 would like to take a moment to remember two very special teachers who have meant so much to all of us, so much to this community, so much to this school, and especially to this senior class. Shane Keith and Emily Dungan left a legacy of encouragement, guidance, and motivation, preparing their students to be their very best. We will never forget you. At this time, will you please join me in a moment of silence to honor the memory of Mr. Keith and Mrs. Dungan. Thank you. Guests with us this evening include the Superintendent of Smith County Schools, Dr. Dennis Carter, Director of Middle and Secondary Instruction, Mr. Mike Sturgill, Director of Elementary Instruction, Dr. Kimberly Williams, Director of Pupil Personnel, Mrs. Kim Sturgill, Director of Human Resources, Dr. Cole Spencer, and school board members, Mr. Mac Buchanan, Dr. Kyle Rhodes, and Mr. Todd Williams. Will you please stand? Thank you. Also, our very special guests joining us this evening are Delegate Israel O'Quinn, member of the Virginia House of Delegates, and wife, Emily O'Quinn. Will you please stand? Thank you. <clears throat> Serving as senior class president has been such an honor and blessing for me. Our class has been through so many ups and downs, but we persevered through them all. Today, we begin a new chapter in our lives. This chapter will look different for each of us. Nonetheless, I know every single one of us will remember today and its significance in our lives. We have all worked so hard to get to this moment, and we all deserve it. I wish you all good luck and all the best in your future endeavors. At this time, Mrs. Kelly Russell, Assistant Principal, will present Achievement Awards. At this time, it is a privilege to introduce the graduates from the class of 2022 who represent the top 10% of the group. Harper Lee Adams. Mary Elizabeth Boardwine. <laughs> Journey Schuyler Cruz. Elijah James Eller.
Katarina Coelho Herrera. Keely Brache Pascal. Madison Sage Prater. Gwendolyn Lee Robbins. Grace Ann Rose. Drake Wiley Somerville. Courtney Lee Walters. Now, Katarina Herrera, please return to the podium. Katarina has the highest grade point average for the 2021-2022 school year. Katarina has an average of 4.89 for this school year. Congratulations. Our guest speakers for tonight are seated on the stage and will present the evening's commencement addresses. Please give your attention to each of these distinguished young men and women. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, staff, and administration. My name is Harper Adams, and I've been given the honor to speak a few words tonight. First, I would like to thank everyone who has played a part in getting me to where I am today, especially to my parents and my sisters. Thank you for always leading me in the right direction and keeping God first in my life. As I was thinking about what to say tonight, I thought to myself, Harper, you need to say something really good, you know, something that people are going to remember. And it was at that moment that I realized that this speech is not what people are going to remember about me. It's the things that I did during my time here at CHS. That's what people are going to remember. The things that I leave behind. My legacy here, if you will. As a popular musical put it, legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. Every single one of us graduating here tonight has left a legacy at our school, for better or for worse. We've left behind our stories, the impacts we've made, the things that we've done, and how we've made people feel. For me, I know that the legacy I'm leaving behind can be found in a few different places. I know it can be found in Walk by Faith, the club that I helped uh, found and preside over. 
It can be found on the whiteboard in Miss Peary's classroom, which I know very few of you know what that's about, but if you do, it's pretty funny. And it can be found in the low brass section in band. And when you hear those kids that I help lead this year, give playing tests, ask each other if they are all clear or if they're ready, that's my legacy. That's our legacy. Everyone has stories like those. And it's things like that that will continue to make an impact long after our time here. That's just the nature of a legacy. It's the garden that we planted, but we never get to see. But the thought I want to leave my classmates with tonight is this. In order to leave a legacy, you have to live it first. If you want people to remember how you inspired them, how great of a leader you were, or how kind you were to everyone around you, you have to live it out first. The way that you live now will turn into the legacy that people will remember later. So as we leave this place tonight and go our separate ways, I encourage you classmates to live the legacy that you want people to remember. Because your legacy doesn't stop here at Chilhowee High School, and for some, it might just be beginning. Continue to inspire, lead, and show kindness. Never stop learning, teaching, and motivating. Give back to those who will come after you. Because at the end of the day, that's what will be remembered. That's what we contribute to that garden that we might not ever get to see. Live out the legacy that you want to leave behind. Thank you for everyone for being here tonight. Class of 2022, we've made it. Go and live your legacy. God bless and we'll ciao. Dear class of 2022, my name is Mary Beth Boardwine. I'm going to attempt to wrap up the most crazy, memorable, yet heartbreaking years all into a one minute speech. These have been, and might always be, the best four years of my life. I'm going to miss the late night Taco Bell runs after football games, my amazing church family that surrounded me while in high school, and the little things like going to Ms. Barrett's class to play Kitty and the Caddy. <laughs> Most importantly though, I'm going to miss all the many friendships I've made. Senior or non-senior, close or not close, you've all played a special role in my life. Some have made me cry from stress, <clears throat> Coach Robinson's history class, <laughs> but most have made me laugh until I'm unsure if I can breathe or not and my rib cage begins to pop in and out. If you know, you know. I would fake cough and say a graduate's name that makes me laugh like that, but there'd be too many people to list. So here's what I would like to say. Thank you. Thank you teachers. Thank you administration. Thank you parents and grandparents. Thank you for the great pleasure of allowing me to grow up alongside such wonderful people. Lastly, thank you seniors. Thank you for always being a shoulder to lean on and for giving me the opportunity to be friends with each of you. Thank you for being a part of the many memories that I will cherish forever. So, wherever God takes you, whether that be staying in Chihuahua the rest of your life, moving to California, or even moving all the way to Europe, wherever you may go, Please never forget your roots and never forget the memories made here at Chilhowee High School because CHS will never forget us. To close, I would like to quote something my mom has continuously told me throughout my senior year as I experience so many first and last of high school. Like Winnie the Pooh says, how lucky you are to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. And gosh, has this goodbye been hard. With that being said, goodbye class of 2022. I love you all. Hello everyone, my name is Joni Cruz and I would like to start off by mentioning how grateful I am for this opportunity to be giving a speech at graduation. It is truly an honor, even though this is completely out of my comfort zone. I would like to thank all of the faculty and staff members, the teachers, and my family who have helped me achieve my high school goals throughout these last four years. I am so thankful to be graduating with such an amazing class and I am extremely grateful for all of the memories you all have given to me. I still remember the first day of freshman orientation and the thought of how happy I would be to graduate. But being here right now is still so surreal to me. It's still crazy how we were sophomores one day and then came back as seniors after the pandemic. 
We have all overcome these challenges together, and I wish everyone the best of luck in the future. To the class of 2022, thank you for everything. Good luck with your future goals, and in the words of a very wise man, to infinity and beyond. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Eli Eller. I never really have been one for speeches, so I'm going to keep this pretty short. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for all their help and encouragement throughout not only my high school years, and but my middle and elementary school years as well. Um, special thank you to mom and dad and all my family members out there. You guys have helped a lot more than you know. Uh, to my fellow graduates, I say thank you. You guys have been some of my best friends over the past 13 years. and. Couldn't have asked for a better group of people to accompany me in school. Uh, good luck to everybody, and I know you guys will do good in life. As far as advice, keep doing what you're doing, because you all have great things ahead of you. And in the words of Forrest Gump, that's all I have to say about that. Teachers, faculty members, fellow students, family and friends, thank you for being here. I'm Catarina Herrera. Today has been a special, long-awaited day for many, a day filled with so many emotions. But the primary emotion I've been feeling is that of gratitude. When I moved here in 2017, I had very little knowledge of the English language and of American culture, and one of the places where I found comfort was in the classroom. My teachers were always so eager to assist me in anything I needed, and every one of my victories was shared and celebrated with them. Every faculty member, cafeteria staff, and custodian has shown me nothing but kindness this past four years. I want to especially thank Ms. Comer for the mentorship and generosity, and forever remember Ms. Emily Dungan for the endless support, inspiration, and encouragement. I also cannot possibly forget to thank my family for the unconditional, infinite support and for never giving me any idea that I couldn't do whatever I wanted to do or be whoever I wanted to be. Without them, I couldn't stand. Finally, I would like to quote Sor Juana de la Cruz, who said, I study so I grow less ignorant. And that is what I urge myself and everyone here to keep doing, regardless of what path you decide to follow. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Keely Brechet Pascal. I'm so blessed and honored to be standing here today. I think we can all agree that our high school experience was nothing like High School Musical, but who knew it could be better? We laughed, we cried, and we made memories that will truly last a lifetime. I want to say thank you to everyone here this evening. If you are here, I want you to know that you have made an impact on at least one person sitting on this field. Your kindness and love towards this class never went unnoticed. Thank you to all of my teachers that I have had throughout my school career. I want to give a special thank you to Mr. Baker, Ms. Russell, Ms. Stamper, and Mr. Holly. At the beginning of this school year, we weren't sure how our senior year was going to play out, but because of those four and many others, our senior year was as close to as normal as possible. We love you and we will miss you. I want to thank my family for their encouragement and support. My sweet mom pushes me every single day to be the best I can possibly be. And although he isn't here physically with me today, I want to thank my dad. I wish he was sitting up there with my mom, but today he has the best seat in the house, and I know he would just he would be just as excited as I am. Finally, to the class of 2022, good luck in all you do, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. 
I am so grateful for not only the past four years, but the last 12. I will miss every single one of you, and I am so incredibly proud of you. Have faith in the Lord, for faith as small as a mustard seed will move mountains. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Madison Prater and it is an honor to be standing here today. Can you believe we actually made it? It really did fly by, just like everyone said it would. Four years later, plus a pandemic. We have been through some crazy experiences as a whole class, not only just in our community, but even worldwide. However, we still managed to reach this milestone. I would like to thank all the teaching staff, administrators, family, and friends. You, are all, you all, are all are the reason why we are here today. You have pushed us and helped us through these tough four years. We couldn't be more thankful for that. Lastly, always remember where you came from and always look forward to where you are going. Congratulations, class of 2022. We did it. Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Robbins, and it is a great honor to be speaking in front of all of you this evening. I would like to begin by formally apologizing to my English teachers because this speech was not written in MLA format. In all seriousness, I'm using this short speech to express a large amount of gratitude. I'd like, I'd like to thank each of my fellow classmates, whether our times were good, bad, or indifferent, my high school experience would be null and void without you. Next, I would like to thank my teachers for challenging me and setting the best example possible, even during the most unfortunate circumstances. Thank you to my coaches for motivating me through each and every practice, whether I threw line drives into the dirt or cannons into the sky. I'd love to thank my family, especially my moms, for paving the way for me and being the best parents to look up to and being the reason I'm standing here today. Finally, I would like to give a special thank you to someone I wish was here, Mr. Shane Keith. Coach Keith, you never, put a, you never paled to put a smile on my face, even on the worst days. I will always strive to make you proud and do the things I promised you I would. Thank you for your time and congratulations to the class of 2022. Good evening, everyone. First, I wanted to thank my family, friends, and all my teachers for helping me to get where I am today. I cannot believe this day is finally here, the day we have all been dreaming about for 12 years. I want to thank every single one of you. You guys accepted me when I first moved here in middle school. We all laughed together. We played sports together. We learned together. We were there for each other when we need each other most. I could never ask for a better group of classmates to go through school with, and I could never thank you all enough. As I am looking out at all of your faces, I am so glad that I got to know all of you, and I cannot wait to see what we all do in the future and what it holds for all of us. Today really does mark the beginning of a new journey for all of us. We have made it through so much already, and I know we will make it through everything life throws at us now too even taxes. We are the future. We are the leaders, the fixers, and the changers. It is now in our hands to shape and mold not only our futures, but the world we live in now. I believe in every single one of us. Thank you. getting pretty hot. My, my wizard robes are starting to steam. All right, hang on. There it is. Hello. Now that, that, that sounds weird. Hang on. <clears throat> Let me try again. Wait, can I, can I, can I redo that? Or, uh, all right. Good evening. I am Drake Somerville. Congratulations, class of 22. You've done well to make it to this moment. To be honest, it was a struggle for me to find the right advice to give you guys since most of us are going to be going in different directions after today. So, after procrastinating on it for quite some time, I believe that the best advice I can give you is to never stop improving. 
It doesn't matter where you go or what you do, this is always true. There is room for improvement if you are willing to put in the effort. So in all your future endeavors, be ambitious and don't be scared to fail. Every failure is an opportunity to learn and grow as a person. Use them to your advantage and you will be well on your way to reaching your greatest potential. All right. Seize every opportunity and work hard to get what you want, no matter how great the challenge may seem. Good luck, guys. I believe in you. Also, tell your family you love them. If you were like me, you wouldn't be where you are today without them. Also, while you're all trapped staring at my gorgeousness, uh, Miss Peary, I finished Lincoln Highway and the ending was, was pretty crazy. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Courtney Walters. To start my speech, I'd like to remind my mom and dad to grab a tissue. I see you guys up there. Most of you that know me know that speaking in front of others has always been difficult for me, but the opportunity to speak for such a fantastic graduating class is truly an honor that I would not allow myself to pass on. The reality of it is we are all doing something scary today. Many of us are leaving home behind, the people and places that have watched us grow up and beginning the next chapter. It is important to cherish the memories we have made but it is equally important to realize the endless potential and opportunities the future possesses. I am proud of my classmates here today and I would like to thank you all. Each and every one of you has shaped me into the person I am today. I would also like to thank our teachers and most importantly, I would like to thank my family. From holding my kindergarten vocabulary flashcards to watching me get accepted into a nursing program, they have supported and encouraged me every step of the way. Undoubtedly, I would not be where I am today without them. In a sense, I never saw myself standing where I am today. Years ago, the 2022 on my orange fifth grade t-shirt seemed nothing more than a distant fantasy. Now the 2022 on my senior t-shirt feels surreal. To conclude my speech, I would like to remind my classmates that high school does not define who you are. With that being said, the day has finally come. As the song Good Riddance by Green Day goes, I hope you had the time of your life. I know the future is bright for this class, and I can't wait to see everyone's accomplishments. Congratulations, CHS Class of 2022. At this time, our senior band members will join the band for a special selection. Please give your attention to the band as they play Send in the Clowns.
Mr. Rocky Baker, principal of Chilhowee High School, assisted by Director of Guidance, Mrs. Christy Comer, will now award our diplomas. Harper Lee Adams. Brennan Grace Anders. Katie Elaine Barr. Micah Joseph Barrett. Kelly Jean Bentley. Lucas Andrew Blevins. Lucas Brian Blevins. Sarah Elizabeth Blevins. Mary Elizabeth Boardwine. Mercedes Janelle Body. Taylor Ashlyn Marie Booth. Wynn Rachel Jane Boswell Bailey. Cody Justin Brogan. <laughs> Alexis Caroline Burkett. <laughs> Brandon Scott Cato. Madison Nicole Clark. <laughs> Ella Grace Coburn. <laughs> Richard William Combs. Journey Schuyler Cruz. <laughs> Caitlin Jade Dancy. <laughs> Gavin Xander Davey. Jaden Dale Delp. Yeah. 
Brandon Patrick Donnelly. Jaden Tyler Dunford. David Allen Eller. Elijah James Eller. Jordan Kenneth Elrod. Robert Dylan Fry. Ethan Lee Gillespie. Jonathan Thomas Gilly. Kyle David Austin Gilly. <laughs> Ashlyn Grace Gobble. Lewin Camilo Gonzalez. Clinton James Goodwin. Miranda Rose Grubb. Sydney Dawson Guthrie. Lakin Nicole Hanshu. <laughs> Cheyenne Michelle Hayden. <laughs> Alyssa Shay Henniger. Johannes Lynn Hernandez. <laughs> Katarina Coelho Herrera. <laughs> Caitlin Grace Hopkins. Elisha Jack Hauk. You <laughs> 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 the 
Amber Dawn Huffman. William Daniel Hutton. Anthony Xavier Jackson. Dominic Nicholas Keith. Emma Camille Kimberlin. Kaylin Lachey King. <laughs> Madison Sydney Ann Lane. <laughs> Emily Rebecca Langley. Carly Brooke Maiden. <laughs> Lauren Olivia Manis. <laughs> Daniel Clark Martin Jr. James Wade Martin. <laughs> Chloe Nicole Mason. <laughs> Justin James Mason. Caden Newton Miller. <laughs> Ashley Marie Mixon. <laughs> Eliza Page Mobley. Lindsay Dawn Morris. Jacob Richard Morrison. Kyle Gerard Murphy. Emily Nicole Music. Yeah. Christian Blake Pappas. Yeah. 
Keely Brache Pascal. Jocelyn Peralta Sobal. Joseph Hunter Powers. Madison Sage Prater. Logan Wesley Price. Gracie K. Ratcliffe. Gwendolyn Lee Robbins. Courtney Lee Rowe. <laughs> Shayla McKay Rowland. Grace Ann Rose. Emma Grace Rowland. Yeah. Austin Lee Sauls. Yeah. Logan Edward Schaefer. Kelly May Lynn Shatley. Calix Aiden Singleton. Drake Wiley Somerville. Haley Ann Stillwell. <laughs> Haley Jade Sykes. <laughs> Warren Carter Starlin Taylor. Logan Brian Teeters. Yeah. 
Cody Lee Terry. Ethan Walker Terry. John Michael Testerman. Lacey Joe Testerman. Brianna Denise Thomas. Caitlin Elizabeth Thomas. Courtney Lee Walters. Avery Lane Watson. Joseph Henry Widener. Luke Anthony Widener. Haley Nicole Williams. This now concludes the awarding of diplomas. Please give your attention to Mr. Baker for the next portion of the ceremony. Thank you, Ms. Russell. This is my 15th graduation as an, uh, as an administrator, and I've never had as much fun. Eli, this group, good job tonight. Thank and thank you for the uh, Twinkies, by the way. <laughs> Eli's probably bought me, I don't know, what, 200 Twinkies in the past four years, Eli? But anyway. Good evening. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Chill Halley High School, I too would like to welcome each of you to our 2022 graduation ceremony. Tonight, 96 young men and women will assemble one last time at Chill Halley to close one chapter of their life and begin to open another. I personally want to say congratulations and thank you to the class of 2022. I can't help but think back to our first class meeting in August of 2018. What I saw that morning was a group of curious, immature, giggling ninth graders that really had no clue what the next four years was gonna hold. What I see tonight is a group of young men and women that I feel are prepared, capable of stepping out into the real world and making their own mark. I have witnessed over the past four years a class that has become confident, driven, goal-oriented, determined, and most successful. To illustrate, I'd just like to share some of the following. This class has earned over $450,000 in scholarship money. 44 graduates will receive an advanced studies diploma. 57 will attend the college or university of their choice. Two will enter the military. 24 were early college scholars. 74 of the 96 had a GPA of 3.0 or better. 32 received governor seals. 25 board of education seals. 75 career and technical seals, 43 are members of our uh, beta club, six attended Linwood Holton's Governor School, 28 will graduate as distinguished honors grads, and most importantly, all 96 graduates will leave here tonight with their diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, obviously we have a lot of talent in this tonight. A good round of applause for this class. Today has been a day of celebration, individual accomplishments, personal goals being reached, the beginning of a new life that waits, and most importantly, being able to share one last moment with your classmates at CHS. 
Again, as you depart, thank you for allowing me to be a small part of your lives for the past four years. As I say every year, you're never a stranger at Chilhowee High School. Please remember you're always welcome back and that you will always be considered a warrior. May God bless you all. Would the members of the class of 2022 please stand? You may now move your tassels to the left side of your mortarboards. By the power vested in me by the Smith County School Board and the Virginia Department of Education, I pronounce you the 2022 graduated class of Chilhowee High School. At this time, please welcome to the stage Mr. Nathan Jones, our director of course at CHS, who will lead us in our alma mater. Good evening. I'd first like to give you a little information about the alma mater of Chilhowee High School. An alma mater is an official song or anthem of a school, college, or university. Our alma mater was presented to Chilhowee High School by the class of 1967. The band director at that time, Mr. David Vale, wrote the melody, and the words were written by three CHS students, Jane Martin, J.E. Edmonston, and Nina Sue Griever. You will find the words to our alma mater printed on the back of your program, Please stand and join in singing the Chilhowee High School alma mater. Hail Chilhowee High School Hats off to thee, loyal and faithful, always will be. After we have left you, though Chess with us will stay. Hail Chilhowee High School, long live thy name. True to thy purpose, let us remain. to 